Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala ahli wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Inshallah today we'll be teaching you how to set up your website So what do you need to set up your website the asset needed you need hosting you need your domain or subdomain and WordPress What is your hosting Hosting is the computer that is going to be carrying your information that is storing your information and the computer runs 247 so you cannot provide such computer so you are going to buy the hosting from the hosting providers so they are going to provide you with a computer that is going to store your information on the internet and the computer runs 247 so what is domain domain is the address that people will use to locate the information stored on your hosting example of a domain is facebook.com google.com youtube.com sometimes you can see .org or .info or dot .anything as for us we have bought hd website .info as domain you can see so later we bought hd website to .info so these are domains that we provided to you so then we have subdomain subdomain as you can see the name it is a sub of the domain so how do you see this subdomain? How does it look like? You are going to find a particular name dot the domain that you already have. For example, now look at facebook.com. A subdomain of facebook.com is mobile.facebook.com. You can see another subdomain, account.facebook.com. You can see another subdomain, business.facebook.com. All these ones, they are subdomain of the main domain, which is facebook.com. So as for us, since we want to provide website for you to practice with, we created so many subdomains for you. When we bought hdwebsite.info, then you now bought, we now provided, for example, if Malik wants to buy a website from us, we provide malik.hdwebsite.info, a subdomain for Malik, so that Malik can use it to design websites and practice with. If Abdurrahman wants to buy a website from us, we are going to create a subdomain, which is abdurrahman.hdwebsite.info. We provide it for Abdurrahman so that he can find he can have a website to practice with. If Ibrahim wants to buy a website from us, we are going to create Ibrahim.hdwebsite.info so that we can provide that for um, Ibrahim so that Ibrahim can find something to practice with. So this is the meaning of subdomain. So if you buy a domain, you can actually create a subdomain from it. We are going to be showing you how to do that later. So you can see from this that I've explained now. If you are having malik.hdwebsite.info, any person that understands how this thing works, will know that you are not having a professional website. Because if the person goes to hdwebsite.info, which is the actual domain, he's going to find that it does not belong to you. But we only provided that for you so that you can, you can have something to practice with. So for you to get a professional one, you have to buy the one that contains only your name as a domain. So if you are Ibrahim Yusuf now. You have to go and buy it IbrahimYusuf.com If you are Abdurrahman Onolaja, you have, you have to go and buy AbdurrahmanOnolaja.com Do you understand? And if you want to use your business name to you, you have a business name, you have to buy the one that bears your business name .com or .info or .org as you like it. Anyone works. Then later, if you have a reason to create a subdomain of that particular uh, domain, then there is no problem. But what you are just saying is that what you should have that bears your name or your business name is the domain, not subdomain. We only provided that for you so that you can have something to practice with. So today, inshallah, we'll be teaching you how to buy the domain and the hosting and also install the WordPress. As for the subdomain, we'll be teaching that later. So after buying the hosting and buying the domain, then you are going to install WordPress on your hosting. So the WordPress is what is going to assist us to design the website the way we like without using coding. So we proceed inshallah. In order to buy the hosting, we're going to alal alal dollars dot ng forward slash hosting. Make sure that this is exactly what you enter to proceed and get the hosting. With this, you are going to be having discount and also you'll be having our support if anything happens. 
you use other than that, you might not be having our support. So when you enter that, it's going to take you to this place. So how do you continue? Just click start saving or you click on get started. Sometimes you see get started. Sometimes you see start saving because of Black Friday. So when you get here, you can see, you can buy this basic one. You can see the price. This is $2.95 per month. So, but this one, you'll be allowed to only host only one website. So, as for this one, the next one, which is this Choice Plus, you can host unlimited websites. What do I mean by this? If I have, I want to host my name at desiryusuf.com, I can buy this one, just only my name. Later, if I want to have another website, maybe for my wife or for my child, then I have to go and buy another hosting, and that is very expensive. In order to cut the price, I can just buy this unlimited. If I have a desiryusuf.com, I can host it with this. Later, if I want to have another website too, I can come and just buy the domain. I will only buy the domain and host that particular domain inside this particular one that I've already bought without paying additional money. Unlike this, if I should purchase this, I will only have the ability to use only one domain here. If I want to use another domain later, then I will, I will have to buy another hosting. I hope you understand this. So, but I'm just using this one to test as a, as a practice for you so that you can see how to do it because I don't actually, I'm not interested in buying any hosting now. I have so many hostings. Do you understand? But in order to show you, I'm going to be buying this just to make sure that you know how to do it. So you can follow me. So you are going to pick select. So as for you, you should be choosing that particular one of unlimited because you might need to buy another domain later and host it. So now maybe I want to form particular domain I can just form something so as for you here you'll be entering your name if your name is Ibrahim Yusuf you write Ibrahim Yusuf here do you understand so all you want to form it you want to create a domain for your website uh, for your business you'll be writing your business name here or if a client somebody wants you to design a website for him you'll be entering the person's name here maybe a top restaurant if there's a restaurant that is called Top restaurant wants to design a website for them, you'll be entering top restaurant here, their name. So if top restaurant, that particular name is not available, you can you can write the top restaurant. For example, now after entering this tip viral agency, let me do something. My company, Sadu Prime. Look at it. I've already bought this domain already. So if somebody wants to buy this domain, saduprime.com, and you press continue. It's going to tell the person that it's not available. You can see. Sorry, this domain is not available. Try search another. Because I've already bought it. Someone has already bought this domain before. So it's going to say it's not available. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So. I'm going to enter. To. Viral. Agency. So you can enter the one that is available. This saduprime.com that is not available, if I should press the saduprime.com, it might be available. You can twist it. Maybe somebody wants you to design a website for him, and the person is running a restaurant, and the restaurant's name is Top Restaurant. And you press Top Restaurant, and it's not available. What do you do? And the person might not be able to change the name of the restaurant. What do you do? Just find out to... Maybe you are going to find a prefix or suffix you are going to add to it to make it available. Maybe the top restaurant uh, .com. Or you can change it from .com to .org or .info, anything like that, to make sure that you buy that particular name that the person actually bears. So after entering the, after entering this tweetviraagency.com, uh, I will just press enter. It's searching for it. You can see this one is available. Congrats, your domain is available. Get it for free for the first year. What does this one mean? Because if you are buying hosting with the link we gave you, alaldollars.ng slash hosting, they are going to give you free a uh, free domain. You don't have to buy domain for the first year. Domain costs $12 or more than that per year. But because you are just buying the hosting, do you understand? They will give you the ability to, uh, they will give you the domain for free for the first year. After the first year, you have to pay for the domain too. So you press continue.
so you can see that here yeah, now this is the price the price 12 months at 2.95 dollars per month and the total i'm going to pay is 35 dollars 35.40 so how do you make this payment now then that's the reason why we ask you to create the cheaper uh, card so if you create the cheaper card you load your money there if you load it with 30,000 uh, 30, naira, you should be able to buy this so you calculate it they will have given you the price their conversion rate so you calculate it you see the amount you need if you actually buy the other one you know i'm buying the basic if you are buying that choice plus so it's going to be more than this then you know the amount of money you'll be loading to your cheaper to purchase the dollar to buy this as for your nigerian card you can't use that one to purchase here so you have to use the cheaper or the other ones that we mentioned in how to make purchase online so you uncheck all these ones they are not important they are not necessary okay it is successful now you can see after purchasing my own you can see success next let's create your account i will click on create password you can see tipviralagency.com then create password i will create my password now okay so after creating my password i'm here now i will click on create your website this one click on skip so this you can just click on anything maybe just blog yes yeah, skip skip all these things you skip them skip okay so after skipping all those one then we are here now then we now click on login to wordpress you can see we are in wordpress now we have our wordpress now this is similar to what you have been seeing before so inshallah we are going to continue from here in the next video how to design this wordpress all these things what they mean and everything that you already know i'm going to explain in depth what you should know we ask allah to make it easy for us assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh